Hey everybody, Bo here. Welcome to our docking station for Rolling Thunder, our cargo trailer cabin on wheels. Hey, in this video, I am gonna share with you, I'm gonna unbox this, which is a faucet, a cold water faucet, one line only, to replace this. I had to rip it out and uh, stay tuned. All right, so, you know, originally I started off making a video about how easy it was after winter to uh, start it back up. To my knowledge, little to my knowledge, did I realize that when I winterized it, I must not have ran the water pump to the faucet and uh, two of the lines ended up breaking. Hey, look at this, my flux capacitor. Anyway, uh, two of the lines ended up busting up here. There must have been water in here, I don't know, but anyway, so this, this, and for some reason I thought that I should put water on both the hot and the cold uh, so I did a split this I'm not gonna do that so unfortunately I had to ruin this to get it out because I couldn't get this off this would not come off and I could not get the ring past it and anyway I had to ruin a good thing we liked it but um, you know I'm not gonna miss this part underneath so anyway uh, here we have a simple faucet and this I ordered it yesterday got it today off Amazon it's inexpensive around 20 bucks give or take you know how Amazon uh, prices fluctuate so far so good and guess what it's made in China oh go figure oh this was nice while it lasted oh well you could always turn this into a shower maybe get this thing off somehow which I probably could I hate plumbing. I'm not a plumber. I don't claim to be a plumber, but you know, when you do a build, you got to do everything, unless you got a lot of friends that are talented. Anyway, so this is uh, a one side line, so you can put it on the cold water or the hot water, which wouldn't make sense. Uh, comes with a nice connector, which is good. And look at that, it came in a, a case. You could even use the case for storage. And a card, KES. You know what, I'm so far I'm impressed. All right, so there you have it, two pieces simple little faucet on off this moves one line I like that so then hopefully this will connect to this I'll take this apart and uh, away we go So this had three lines coming down. It had uh, the hot, the cold, and then the faucet. And that's what uh, this was. And uh, then I decided to make my life complicated and split and then go right to the pump. 
So to make my life easy, I'm going to take this off here, which all that will go away. And hopefully, this is the right size. And that's been my problem. Is it a half? Is it seven eighths? I hate plumbing. Anyway, so I'm going to get busy and disconnect this. You know, I really find that simple is better. Hey, lucky me. Not lucky me. So now I gotta find a brass connector that fits this. I thought I was going to be done. So then this goes on here and that's a nice mount. So now I got to go to Depot. I hate going to Depot. There's a pandemic going on. Alright. God, I hate plumbing. All right, well, it is now a couple days later, a trip to Home Depot that they gave me a quarter inch that ended up not working. So then I went to Ace, looked up the specs. This says 916th, could not find 916th. Found um, 5 16th. This seems to fit good. So we'll see if that works. Then I had to order another pump because there must have been water in the pump and water expands when it freezes and it must have busted the pump. So I had to buy a new one. So this is a $20 pump. And uh, it's pretty heavy so we'll see how this does so uh, I didn't want to spend a ton of money because we just got done remodeling a uh, bathroom so I'm just trying to fix the problem so that we can get back on the road and uh, this was an Amazon choice so I went with it uh, looks like it'll fit the needs three amps so not that bad on uh, electricity and like I said this I'm gonna put a little plumbers tape on this put this in and let's see if we can get this done and uh, you know this uh, other faucet was really nice it was a little big this faucet here is actually a uh, I would call it a wet bar faucet one line cold line only simple easy so that's that's what we're going for I like these uh, gravity type things you can do like with that we just tilt it down you can wash your hands we put a soap dispenser there I also was checking out a uh, solar shower I have two hooks so that you can put a uh, nozzle I'm gonna play with that this summer simple things uh, but the gravity stuff works you know the only thing is you don't want to store your tanks up high because of the balance of the vehicle but uh, they work well even if you put them low so there you have it we're gonna go inside and get this job done okay here's my old battery this one failed probably got water in it and frizz up I don't know this one seems a little bit heavier I don't like this being open like this I'm gonna mount it upside down 
So uh, there's an arrow here for the out. So that's the out and this is the end. So this will go into the water. This will go up to the sink. And this gets mounted on the back wall. I wish it were a little further away from the sink, but uh, hopefully we won't get any leaks. This is a pain. Yeah, you know, if you're good at plumbing, it will be a no problem, but I, I'm having problems with things fitting right. So we'll see if it leaks. Um, but I would say I like this for an inexpensive uh, faucet. I think it's great. So let's see how it works when we get it uh, water flowing through it. But uh, so I'm just going to kind of wing nut this uh, power in. That way, if I need to take one out, put it in again, I can. And. Uh, We'll see how noisy it is. That's the other thing. I didn't realize how noisy these pumps were, but that's no big deal. Uh, you know, like I say, the other thing, you can do a foot pump, and then you don't have any of this stuff. But we're going to have to work on the winterizing thing. We'll, we'll do that in the fall, and uh, I'll do a little research as well. I thought it would be easy. Maybe, you know, I didn't run the pump. I don't know what happened, but there was water in the lines, and it froze bottom line. So... I'm going to go ahead and mount this, get it hooked up, and let's see if it works. Anyway, you know what I hate the most about plumbing is there's never any space to work. It's always behind the sink or where you can't see it or you can't get a wrench on it. So, uh, yeah, this is not my forte, but we get through it, we get it done, and that's all you can do. But pretty simple setup you could probably do the faucet and the pump and the tubing for about 50 bucks that's pretty cheap for running water sink you can make sinks out of uh salad bowls i've seen people do that they drill the the uh, bottom out put so then you have a nice round sink pretty easy to do so okay Okay, so I have a, uh, a piece of foam in between the pump and the wall to soften the sound a little bit. Now all I gotta do is uh, hook these up. Do red to red and yellow to black. Okay, I'm gonna hook this to the bottom of the sink, the pump. Easier said than done. Why well, I hate plumbing. Now if I've learned anything about this kind of stuff is never over tighten because that's when things strip. So here's my water supply. Oops, here's my pump switch. Oh. And look at that, it is working. It's leaking. As far as the sound of the pump, that's quieter than my other one. Okay, we gotta see if we can fix these leaks. All right, guess what? It's another day gone by. I went back to Ace. This is why I hate plumbing. You would think that they would make something that goes into this and goes to a barb but this is the problem there's compression there's all kinds of different threads there's so many different fractions that's why i hate plumbing anyway turns out you had to have so i went to ace and uh stared at a thing full of gadgets no one there to help and you got to know plumbing that's just the way it is so i had a piece that i bought that thought would work that didn't work that i had to return so i went and returned it and uh went to the guy in the ace and ace was great uh i mean there was a few people there but that's the problem i think not everybody knows plumbing so they kind of stay away from it so people weren't approaching me and i went to the service desk 
because I had to return a piece anyway and I said well is there anyone here that knows plumbing that can help me and he said oh Steve Steve's the guy you need I'm like okay so I see another guy I'm like are you Steve are you, do you know plumbing and he goes well what do you need and I'm like well I need this to go to this and he went oh, oh, oh no you need Steve so I went to plumbing and stood there for 10 minutes or so who knows how long and uh, nobody knows Steve came which I thought Steve was gonna come and I saw some young guy and I said hey do you know plumbing and uh, same thing he's like no you need Steve and then he turns around and there was Steve Steve was gonna help somebody with some paint or something I don't know and this guy was so nice said let me do that and you help him and so Steve came along and he's like yeah plumbing is the hardest department in the store so it turns out you need this to go into this simple little thing that comes off of the faucet then you need in this I guess it's a compression so these you just go hand tight the one thing I learned about anything about plumbing is never over tighten anyway so this goes into this pretty much hand tight because there's a, a rubber gasket in there these you need to put Teflon tape on which I'm gonna do next so then you have this that goes into this and then this piece which has a barb on it goes into this so I'm gonna put these all together and we should be good to go hook this up show you the system you know so far uh, I like this it's, it's a great size I was trying to be overly fancy with the pull down thing it was a little big in here but it wasn't you know it was fine depends on your budget I didn't want to spend a lot of money because I've been spending money on a remodel for the bathroom and uh, I thought that the camper was ready to go and I could do some other things that were inexpensive so I didn't want to spend a couple hundred bucks but this was roughly 20 that pump is better than the other one that I bought and the other one I think I paid 35 or more so uh, twenty dollars on that one too and again it's Amazon prices go up and down uh, they do fluctuate so and I do want to disclose I am an Amazon associate I did buy this stuff on my own as kind of research and to use I'm always on a budget so I'm looking for good deals good value and uh, I think this is worth it so and I wanted the two holes because this is a soap dispenser so I wanted to be able to have a soap dispenser that's mounted that doesn't roll around. In the back we have a gravity sink so we use a, uh, and I'm going to do a video on that because I found a 7 gallon that's perfect. Uh, and it's like 15 bucks. You can make a nice gravity sink with that. And we keep uh, some just hand soap, one of those container things. And uh, that way when you're out back and you're doing stuff and you want to wash your hands you can or whatever so that works but so this was three different pieces and uh, $15 later just for this so to go from this to this cost me 15 bucks what are you gonna do this will be good for life and uh, you know we, we we're summertime campers so we don't do any winter stuff so hot water is not a thing here and we just use this for cleaning uh, washing hands and cleaning pots and pans and dishes uh, other than that drinking water we drink bottled water uh, so and eventually someday I may install a hot water heater on the back on the outside and then it could be used for an outside shower or something like that you just take a five gallon put a thing in it with a pump and you're good to go but that's the least of my worries right now right now we're in the middle of a pandemic so we just want to get through it do a little social distancing get in the woods and be happy uh, you know I've been getting out getting some pics trying to get back in the groove and uh, we are rolling things along and I appreciate you watching this video so uh, let me get this hooked up 
and we'll, we'll go from there. All right, see, I have a little pump switch. And uh, when you turn the water on, the pump automatically turns on. It is a little loud. I would say it's as loud as my other one. I would say it's about the same, actually. But this is nice. You know, that's all we need. Uh, one thing I like about the flow on this is it's not too fast. That way you can serve your water a little bit more um, when you wash your hands. So I forget this is 2.2 something. I don't know. Liters a minute. But for a $20 uh, faucet, that's not bad at all. For our purpose, this is great. So, make sure that's on. And then I'm going to bring you in closer so you can see what the underside looks like. All right, so I have uh, two jugs with uh, that one little elbow coming off of the drain right into my gray water and then the one on the uh, left is the fresh water again we only use this for washing hands brushing teeth washing dishes stuff like that i keep a spare one in the back of uh fresh water so that gives us 10 gallons but uh, there's all kinds of different options. They make the uh, rectangular ones that are seven gallons. I would consider putting those in here also. Those would probably still work with my setup. But these fit perfect. They don't move around. They're easy to fill. I'm trying to keep it simple. We're gonna have to work on this winterizing. So I'm gonna get under there and clean up the wires and tape them up a little bit better. Pump. Again, roughly 20 bucks, not bad. A uh, little noisy, but they're all noisy. But it's working, and that's all I care. As long as I don't have any leaks, I have a little nasty uh, one drip. So I'm going to have to take that apart and put some more Teflon tape on there and uh, try it again, get rid of that drip. Again, this is one of the reasons I hate dealing with this. It's always one little drip. And we can't have it. But at least we're 99.9% .9 there for running water. Okay, gang, there you have it. I have a working sink again. You know, there's two ways to do it. You can just leave it on and then turn the pump on and do it that way. Or once the pump's on, do it that way a lot of times it's just easier to leave it on and do the pump but either way it's nice to have running water again that's a must for sure simple thing simple easy way to do it like I say some people take these mount them on the wood get a salad bowl drill a hole put the buy a uh, drain and put a drain right through there and do a real nice round sink I thought about doing that but I like this because it was deep and uh, you know you don't want too small of a sink that's for sure I think bigger the better and if you can get a big one with a cover on it that's the way to go because uh, you know it just comes in handy for a lot of things so there you have it there's my sink there's my faucet I'm gonna put the links down below Hey, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you got any questions or any comments, uh, leave those below too. And if you can, take time, subscribe to my channel. And uh, thanks for spending a little time with Bo. And stay tuned for the next video. See ya!